welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here. It is Saturday, so that means it is grocery haul day. This week I actually went to three stores. I went to Trader Joe's, my local Fred Meyer or Kroger store, and Costco. Now I mainly went to Costco to pick up fertilizer, but I figured since I was there, I was gonna go ahead and buy a few groceries so that I don't have to go back for a few weeks. So I have quite a big haul for you this week and wait until you guys hear what's on my meal plan and meal prep. I'm so excited. So without further ado, let's jump into this week's grocery haul and meal plan. So here is this week's grocery haul. I actually went to Trader Joe's, Fred Meyer, and made a Costco run, mainly for fertilizer, but picked up a couple other things while I was in the store. So let me show you what I picked up for this week. So they have these Applegate Organic Turkey Burgers on sale for $5. Normally they're $10 a box, and I was like, heck yeah, that's a great deal. So I actually picked up two packs. They're in the freezer section. They are organic, really good ingredients, literally just the turkey burger and rosemary extract. I'll put the points here on the screen. I honestly didn't figure the points out, but I thought with grilling season here, this would be a great thing to have. So I picked up those. Also at Trader Joe's, my favorite maple syrup. I did order a big jug off of the Thrive Market. It's much more affordable on Thrive, but until it gets here, I'm completely out. So I grabbed some Vermont maple syrup. Lots of cheeses and meats. So at Trader Joe's, I grabbed Applegate natural smoked turkey breast. You guys know I love this. It's zero points on blue and purple. I usually stick to two slices, which is a serving. And again, just really good ingredients. Really, really good ingredients. So I picked that up. I also grabbed at Trader Joe's the Jarlsberg Light Swiss Cheese just to have on hand. I don't mind the Sargento Ultra Thin, but I actually like this one better. I feel like it's way more cheese for one point. So I grabbed that. Also for my husband, I grabbed the Sargento Colby Jack string cheeses for his lunches and then shredded cheese i for him i have sharp cheddar and i also have just the mexican style shredded cheese and then i also grabbed at trader joe's their light mexican blend we really like this cheese and it's much better point wise than the regular cheese also this week in his lunch he decided he wanted sliders i could not find pre-made slider patties so i just bought this 93 27 ground beef and I'll just hand make the slider patties. And then for a couple recipes, I grabbed two more pounds of the Simple Truth Organic Ground Turkey. So I picked up two more pounds so that I have enough for this week. Costco had good prices on their fruit finally. So I grabbed some organic raspberries. These were $4.99 at Costco. And also their organic blueberries that I paid $8 for a couple weeks ago were only $4.99. So much better, much more affordable now for fruit, which is fantastic. So I grabbed both of those for the week. Some farmer's hen house pasture raised organic eggs. We're just about out of eggs. And this week I'm gonna hard boil some just so I have them for snacking. And then I also grabbed my favorite English muffins. These are the Ezekiel 4-9 sprouted grain. You find these in your freezer section. I get a lot of questions, usually in the organic or natural portion of your grocery store in the freezer section. I love these English muffins. They keep me full. They're so good. So I grabbed those. Costco ground black pepper just because I'm almost out and also I grabbed a can of diced tomatoes now let me just tell you I couldn't find diced tomatoes at all so I'm glad that I actually was able to round these up at Fred Meyer but these have the chilies in them which I'd rather just have the regular but hey beggars can't be choosers so I picked that up my normal two pack of the avocado oil spray chosen foods from Costco $5.99 which is the price of one at your grocery store also, I grabbed a refill of my tomato paste. I was completely out, and I like this double concentrated in the tube. I feel like it lasts a lot longer because it's in the tube, and I just throw it in my fridge once I open it up. Also, shocker, my favorite cottage cheese, the Good Culture Whole Milk Classic Cottage Cheese. Ooh, I might actually have that for a snack. That sounds really good, so I grabbed that. And then I was all out of my favorite whipped topping, which is the So Delicious Cocoa Whip. I've been loving this in my parfaits with yogurt and a smart cake. I did talk about my parfaits, showed them in my favorite WW Snacks video during quarantine. I'll link that down below. 
and my recipe for my parfait is on my website. I'll put my website here on the screen and it is also down below. So definitely check that out. So I restocked my cocoa whip and then at Costco, my husband really likes these. These are the pure organic layered fruit bars. They come in pineapple, passion fruit and strawberry banana. They're basically like a fruit roll up and they're really, really delicious. They were on sale, so I picked those up. Also, I grabbed some brown rice flour. That's another thing I can't find at all is flour. Even on Thrive, everything is pretty much sold out and I needed this for a recipe. So because I wanted organic due to the heavily dose of glycosate, which is the active ingredient in Roundup in flour, I only buy organic. So I was stuck with brown rice flour, which is fine. It'll work. It should still work just the same as a wheat flour. And I also needed tapioca flour for a recipe, which I was easily able to find that. Slider buns for my husband's sliders for work. I thought I'd show these to you because they're lower in point. So if you still wanted a hamburger bun, these are a good option. Of course, they are kind of small, but again, they are a good option kind of in a pinch. I also grabbed some organic mixed berries. I need this for breakfast prep. This is strawberries, blackberries, and blueberries. Went ahead and grabbed my husband another box of buttermilk waffles so that he won't eat my vans, gluten-free ones. He's been really liking these, so I picked those up. Also for a snack, I really, really like these and I had a pretty good coupon. These are the Organic Bunny Grams and Birthday Cake. These are so good, you guys. They're really, really good. I have to pre-portion them out, otherwise I can overeat them. But I did buy these. If you're gonna get snacks for yourself or your kids, Annie's is actually a really good brand. They're all organic. Again, these are delicious. I also needed rice wine vinegar for a recipe. I ended up throwing out my sugar-free one just because the sweetener in there was not something I wanted to eat and it was almost gone anyways. And then of course I grabbed kombucha just to have on hand. I'll probably have this tomorrow. I have been really liking to have some kombucha every day. It seems to really help with any of my stomach or gut issues. And then I picked up a bottle of OJ and this is for a recipe. So I went ahead and just grabbed a really, really small bottle. And then for my husband's lunch, he, we used to buy these all the time and I haven't bought them in a very long time. These are the Trader Joe's yogurt pretzels. So I'll just bag these up and throw those into his lunches. And a big classic mix 18 bag pack of chips again for his lunches. But I thought I'd show these to you guys because they're actually not too bad in smart points. Everything else I have on my counter here is produce. So I have an organic spaghetti squash. This is for a turkey burger marinara type of dinner recipe that I have in store. For that same recipe, I needed zucchini. So I grabbed this four pack of zucchini squash. Some more organic baby peeled carrots for snacking and also for a recipe. I am making a clean eating crisp. I can't wait to share with you guys. So I needed some apples. So I grabbed these organic gala apples at Trader Joe's. For a recipe, I needed mushrooms. So these are just the organic white mushrooms. These are so cute. They're so small. So I grabbed those. Needed some greens, some organic baby spinach, and also some organic mixed kale. And these are both for a couple of recipes. And then usually whatever is left, I like to have with salads. Picked up a bag of teeny tiny avocados just so that I had some avocados on hand. And lastly, I grabbed a bag of lemons from Trader Joe's. I did pick up a couple other things at Costco one of which is that case of Diet Coke right there. And then also I picked these up for my husband. He loves Rice Krispie Treats. Great price at Costco. I wanna say these are $4.99, $4 wow Jen, four smart points each. So I grabbed those. Big case of Tide Pods. Again, Costco has a really good price for Tide, Tide Pods. And I also grabbed some paper towels and fertilizer and Coors Light at Costco and last, so excited to find a watermelon at Trader Joe's, so I picked that up. So let's get into, hi Lola, hi babe. Let's get into this week's meal plan and what I am doing for meal prep. All right, so let's, let's take a look at this week's meal plan. I'm actually not going to go through my meal planner um, in today's video. This is the meal planner that I use. It's the Carrie L, and the reason is, is unfortunately, Due to the pandemic, Carrie L had to lay off all of their employees and it's just a husband and wife team with a few employees 
it breaks my heart so they don't actually have the bounded meal planners like i have available right now they're just doing the digital download you can still use my code for the digital download but I'll leave my code down below, but I'd recommend just waiting till this is over and they're able to bring back the actual meal planner because it's absolutely amazing. If you are interested in seeing the pieces of the meal planner, just check out any other grocery haul that I've done and you'll be able to see that there. So I'm just gonna show you this week's menu, which is the week of April 25th through May 1st. So of course today, Saturday is an out to dinner day. We've been doing takeout and trying to support a local restaurant every week. So I'm not sure where we'll go this week, but we're gonna go out to dinner. Also, I'm trying to get the best lighting. There we go. Also, uh, tomorrow is Turkey Sloppy Joe Pasta. You guys will actually see this recipe in my What I Eat in a Day next Wednesday. Stay tuned. Can't wait. Monday we'll do leftovers. I've been doing the Jazzercise at 4.30 p.m. live, so I try to leave Monday night open. Tuesday we're doing easy orange chicken and rice. That's why I bought the orange juice. Wednesday is going to be Italian turkey burgers and spaghetti squash. So this recipe, I don't think I've shown it on my channel, but I've had this recipe before. It's so good, you guys, and it's so low point, and it is amazing. So I may do a cook with me on that. You guys have to let me know which of these recipes you'd be most ex excited to see a cook with me on, and I may just do that. And then on Thursday, we're going to do healthy hamburger mac and cheese. This I'm really excited for, too. This is a clean eating mac and cheese. Can't wait. And then Friday, I'm gonna do leftovers just because I have a feeling we're gonna have quite a bit by the end of the week. So that is what I'm doing for meals for this week. On the back is where I'll write down what I'm doing for meal prep. So you guys, I'm so excited for this week's meal prep. This is going to be one of the best. So breakfast is baked oatmeal with warm berry sauce. Okay, I can't wait for this recipe. I've been wanting oatmeal again. I haven't had it in a while. And this has like a really good warm sweet berry sauce. I can't wait. Lunch, I'm making a bootable. Stay tuned for this recipe. This recipe is vegetarian, but it's so full of protein you won't even make Miss the actual meat it is so good and it's a great way to save on money by pumping up more veggies and beans into your meals that we talked about that in my tips for clean eating on a budget again that video will be linked down below and this I'm really excited about clean eating apple crumble so basically like an apple cobbler cannot wait so all three of these recipes you'll see on Monday in my meal prep video so that's it my friends if you have any questions on the carry all leave those in the comments down below and that's my meal plan and meal prep for the week thank you for joining me on another weekly ww grocery haul and meal plan and meal prep i am so excited for this week's recipes i feel like i grabbed some really good healthy whole foods and some fun new food finds as well and i seriously can't wait to share meal prep with you guys that will be up on monday down in the description box you're going to find the link to join thrive if you're interested in taking advantage of a thrive membership you'll actually get free groceries of your choice when you join the thrive market also in the description box is my website as well as the video i talked about i linked that down there as well facebook group link we'd love to have you come over and join our community and the links and discount codes to all of my favorite things so make sure you're checking out the description box if you're new i'd like to welcome you i'd love for you to stick around and join my community here on youtube it's a great place to be go ahead and hit that little subscribe button and the bell so you're just notified whenever new videos are uploaded i do upload most days of the week and saturday is always grocery haul day give this one a big thumbs up if you love grocery hauls leave those comments i want to hear what recipe are you most excited about if you guys overwhelmingly are excited about a single recipe i will do a cook with me so let me know in the comments what recipe other than meal prep you would love to see a cook with me for thank you guys so much for watching happy saturday friends and i'll see you next time bye guys